Okay, so let's talk about the casting setup right now. Um, first, we've got our four separate molds with the different sprewings of the same star part and then one done in cuttlefish. Those are all on a nice carousel. Uh, this is full of pumice, which allows us to hold our pieces firmly and it's inert. It's not going to react when we pour molten metal if we spill. So we're aiming for this target, this target, this target, and this target, right? Each time we're going to have our crucible preheated and we're pouring into the mold. So what's going to happen is I'm going to have the torch in my non-dominant hand and I'm going to have the crucible in my dominant hand so I can aim for that brief moment where I need to get that 1800 degree metal into the mold. All right. Things you want to keep around before you start. A bowl of water for quenching your material. Keep that on hand but not in the way. Right? So you want to have it nearby but not interacting with anything that you're working on. Okay, And then you want a pair of tongs in case you have to pick anything up. You want your metal if you're going to be melting metal. Uh, we're doing this in a couple of ways. I've got some residual charge to melt down. I've got a little bit where we discuss how to alloy. And then the tiny useless bits that come with whenever you're doing jewelry work, whether it's the dust, the powder, the odds and ends. So um, there's a little bit of everything in this melt and you want to have at least 10 to 20 percent new metal each time you cast. Don't just start out with your slaggiest, most abused jeweler's scrap. It's always good to add a little bit of fresh, but things like little scrap bar or wire that you can't do anyway do anything with those count as fresh metal right the stuff that's precast items like sprues or you know parts of a component that didn't work those have been through and so those do not count as new right if you're alloying new metal that counts as new okay so when you're alloying just remember to do the weight where it's seven and a half percent copper or some other metal and uh 92.5 percent silver right pure silver so if you got 99.9 fine you just want to make sure that that remaining is just under 7.5 percent so you can stamp sterling on that alloy uh, the last thing you need to have is a pair of safety glasses um, when you've got a torch that's hot enough to melt metal you're also hot enough to burn out your corneas so a uh, level three shade or a level five shade depending on your eye sensitivity you can also get um, glass blowers, uh, glasses, which will take out the sodium flare and allow you to see the color of the metal. You'll notice that this pair is green, and so it's much harder to tell the color of the metal through it. And it's better for people who are experienced and have done this before. But hopefully the camera will catch most of what we need to see.